Billy goes yeah. off. All right. So it's been a while since he was been turning the knobs there. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhat. It is better. You can dollar that up. There you go. All right, we're going to call the council meeting for the city of Vernon, March 20th, 2023, to order at 5.30. Candace, please. Dear hey, Heavenly Father, we thank you for allowing us together here tonight. We ask that you guide the council in making the right decisions and the new council members or the other council members that are being sworn in help them throughout the next year to do their very best for the city. We ask that you put your hands upon our mayor and continue to work in improving his situation and his health and bring him safely back to Vernon. In Jesus' name we pray and thank you. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So first, we're going to swear in officials. This is my first time. Y'all just bear with me. Okay, <laughs> so we're going to do our new seat first since Dad's in this. Okay, so we'll do our new seat first, which is Britain. Is that, you do want to go by Britain, right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Britain. Britain Brock. And, um, He's taken Chad's seat, and I appreciate Chad for the past several years. Thank you, Chad. We all need Chad. Chad. So we just want to get him. Chad. 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 Thank you. 
that I'm duly qualified to hold office. That I'm duly qualified to hold office. Under the Constitution of the state. Under the Constitution of the state. And that I will well and faithfully perform the duties. And I will well and faithfully perform the duties. Of city council member. Of city council member. On which I am now. On which I am now. About to enter, so help me God. About to enter, so help me God. Did you see that? Great. Great. Congratulations, everybody.
So we could have checked that at any time. It's physically there and doing its job. It's just not where I can see it on, in the, on the screen. And so when we had the break in, it was on plug. We didn't know. So as far back as he could see, I, I can't remember what he said, but now he's got it moved up into the top of the ceiling. I guess, you know, training them down there playing and stuff to keep somebody from messing with them. Just that way they go in there, you know, just so they don't want to work. And you can see it, he showed it on TV the other day. It, it looks really good. And just the camera's where you can, where it's important. It looks really good to play at. Yeah, and we've had access to the other places the whole time. I could have logged in and seen them the whole time. The sports flex, we could have seen that the whole time. The plant, we can see that. Um, so all that's going. Um, what that is that he sent over would be for the city square to report to us to put up at the city square you'd have to buy one of those pieces of equipment i think it's on omni or something and then shady grove would also then transmit because he said it didn't have to have an internet connection it could come over his network so there wouldn't be a monthly fee it would just be that fee to buy the piece of equipment to stream it and it would then stream the city square and shady grove here but shady grove is recording if somebody doesn't find it and unplug it or whatever if that was the case but that's what that's about just so y'all know you had it turn it mm -hmm. and then um He also asked me to ask y'all if y'all wanted anybody to pressure wash the city square so that it looked better. So I figured y'all would want to say that on the workshop too, but I told him I would ask y'all. Wait, they still doing that work out there? I never work? see them. I, I know, but they got the equipment still there. Yeah, so that'd just be whatever how whatever y'all wanted to do i just i told him i'd mention it if y'all want to talk about it at the workshop or something but um and then on the tractor that we've been trying to get the minutes need to be worded a different way and i have how she wants them worded i asked her to please send me that so can y'all add that onto the agenda for number five she said it's got to be we didn't say unsecured loan license but she didn't know that either. It was after she sent it to headquarters, they sent it back. And then um, since Mr. Gary is not available to sign, we need a secondary signer. And he was the one that had approved, been approved to sign. So we'll have to say mayor or president or however y'all want to do it. But if we could add that. Number five. Number five. Okay. That's all I can think of. Recreation report. He was going to be here. Um, he gave me a bill that is in those checks over there for equipment for baseball. It's not uniforms, it's actual equipment. So. I had a few questions on that. I do too. Uh, Cindy, I don't want the council to know uh, the one that's been here. We've been after him on the rec director to give us. So I don't mind buying equipment for the kids and the coaches and all. We when you buy a catcher's bit for $200 and hand it to a coach and you don't let them don't sign it out and sign it back in, the city's throwing money away every year. Uh, he needs to give us a report. I've asked him, asked him, and asked him. He's got help down there now. He's got a red board uh, for a report, a statement, at least once a year back to the city so the council knows what we bought and what we handed out and all what we got back. We ain't got one yet. Well, there's several things on here that I'm not even sure we're, or that Red Bile's like. Are we responsible for other people that we can buy and please? Because it's like just two or three pair on here. It's probably for catchers. I'm just guessing. I don't know because he was supposed to be here. So that's just my guess is that they're buying the catchers. Okay, so this this has been purchased and he's requesting to pay. I think so. That's how I did it. That's why I did it as a check because it's it's a bill from a mega sport. He's already been paid. No, I'm assuming it's in these checks. That we've got no, it's in the checks. I just wasn't. 
I wanted to bring it to y'all's attention before I, so y'all know before, before I got in trouble for mailing the check. Well, <laughs> I mean, I don't mind buying what we need to buy for the kids either, but we don't have an inventory. Some of this is just random to me. I, I would have appreciated if he would have been here or sent somebody that we could at least ask about it. And I will send him a text and maybe we'll hear something back before the meeting's over. I know that they're selling banners down there right now um, for baseball because I've done it some through the through here through the office. I didn't, I wasn't, maybe it is just because it's catcher's mitt, but I wasn't aware that we bought gloves or cleans. I don't know, I just got the bill, so. He has cleats on it. There's cleats on it. We don't buy cleats. I didn't think we I don't know. I didn't think we did. I, I didn't think so either, and that's why. I, I was hoping he was going to be here so he could answer some questions for us. So, without him being here, let me ask. Council members, there's a check in here that's got to be signed, and I believe that Miss Gwen has already signed the checks, but I have not. Is yeah. this one that y'all want to sign, or do you want to hold it until we can get some information? It has already been bought, I think, though, is the that well, that's issue. That's what I said, but I want Council's approval before I sign this, and there'll be questions about the expenditure. That's the bill from them. Uh, so he just buys the stuff and then turns it. He just hates the schedule. Yeah. You know, the city's got to pay. I hate to put the Copy. kids back two more weeks or okay. whenever our next workshop is. Uh, to discuss it with him, but we just need to get him on the right page. Okay, so I'm going to sign the check because it's already been purchased. Yeah. And Candace, will you please put it on the workshop that we can discuss? these kind of expenditures so we know in the future. Okay, so are we going to talk about that building too on the workshop? But Madam President, Ray, can I address the board real quick about Shady Road? Yes. Okay. Uh, this year, I started helping coach middle school baseball team. At the beginning of the season, we did a lot of weeks in baseball and uh, they, uh, they, have, they have a lot of work to do. Uh, and, and the kids have bought in. They got really, they got quite a bit better as the season went on. Uh, so this summer, we looked to uh, enter into the Dixie Youth or the Dixie Majors um, to the, uh, and have a 13-14 team with the city. But the closest teams are Wicksburg, Hadland, and Troy. And my parents just, they, they can't, they can't travel that far in a week. Uh, so, uh, if it's okay with the council, we don't continue the middle school program right on while we always do at Shady Grove and utilize it with the MOU that you have through the city or uh, through the school board. But I want to add y'all as additional insurance through Lawson Insurance. And Michelle, I'll send it to you as additional insurance so you can see it. And, and the school board, we're going to do a summer program with, with middle school kids to work with throughout the summer. We're going to play five tournaments uh, two one month, three the other, other three months, or one the other one, one tournament the other three months. Uh, just to try to build our middle school program up. But I want, uh, we're going to have a work day Saturday at uh, Shady Grove. You're more welcome to attend. I've, I've seen, uh, we've done quite a bit of work thus far. It looks a lot better. Take an old mound out, rebuilding it, put a new pitcher's plate on it, uh, hanging a new batting cage, uh, adding the bullpen uh, to the, on the left hand side. Uh, uh, really going to make it look a lot better. Go in the window, we'll go in and clean the bathrooms up. Jason's been there with me two or three times. But just want to be sure the council, I know Josh has spoke, spoke to Joey, but I want to just make sure we spoke to the whole council as a whole and you knew what was going on down there and you were okay with what's going on down there. And it's the Vernon Middle School. Uh, I, I, I spoke to Josh as well. Okay. The last time that I spoke with him, he was trying to get permission to transport the kids over there. I'm so we got that uh, during the school year. There'll be the, the city route. will actually run them, run them and drop them off for us. So right. they'll have transportation. It's, it's going to work out really, really nice, but uh, and and it's really going to bring the field back in shape that it once was. And it's already started that way, but uh, in in two weeks' time, you'll 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 see the field when Mac off like it was when Mac off was there. We just fertilized it, 
Uh, got the sprinklers going, got two sprinklers fixed, but it's, it's really coming around. But I wanted y'all, as a whole council, be sure everybody was good with that. Michelle, this isn't something that we have to vote on. We already have a mayor local agreement with the school board, right? Okay. Yeah. And I pulled that yeah. when that when the travel team came in. I pulled that agreement from the county. Yeah. And it says that the schools have first priority. Yeah. I, I'm all for okay. being excited well, about it. What about I, rest camp? I yeah. appreciate it, Craig. I appreciate it. Me and Miss Quinn were just talking about the fields before the meeting now. Uh, that field needs to be stayed in the city. We've had people come and wanted to take over that field and, and uh, do a lot of work on the field in the last meeting we had. And uh, they've been after the city to turn it loose to them. And we know we got an agreement with the county. And uh, I'd like to stay with the county. And I appreciate all the help they could do. No doubt. Continue we, to help us with the, with we the went camera. through and trimmed all the crepe myrtles around the track so you can mow around them now and it, it, it'll be it'll, and we'll keep it up where the kids can go there and play on the playground too and not just the field we'll mow the other while we're there mowing might as well mow it but uh it's something that i'm proud of now because yeah. it uh it's it's where i play high school baseball at and joey plays high school baseball at and uh, I, I hate to see the field in the shape where it was at where the grass was overtook the clay infield part but it looks it looks very very good and it's going to look really good by the time next spring next baseball season gets here but i just want to be sure if i was good on that and we'll continue moving forward with it. i told Joey that i you know he was always approaching us and i'm just tired of giving the city away to people you know just because you want to do something for us free we have a record director that we're paying and that's their job to keep that field up we don't need to have somebody come in and keep the field up just because and for free so they can use it for We're going to build a, if it's okay, we all going to build a wood fence where I've got a high school now in front of the dugouts. They're so small, you, you cramped in them. Mm -hmm. And can we paint them? Is it okay if we paint them green yeah, things? That's a, that's, a, that's, a bad, that's a bad color right there. <laughs> so we'll, we'll, we'll get it back where we'll, we'll get it. Uh, we got, we'll, we'll cover all no, that. We <laughs> no, no, we'll, we'll, we'll take care of that. We'll, if y'all don't use it, we'll, we make it where we look like that, 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 green got, that green's got to go though. That don't, <laughs> That's what Vernon was now about 45 years ago. Well, it was, that, it was golden that green. Was that green. Yeah, but that's just, that's, we're not 45 years ago. That's, that's pretty rough. That's a better green than that, though. Huh? That's a better green. I wore that green. Yeah, I did too. I wore that green. It was, it was not that school green. It was the red. It was no, green. We had, we had Vernon blue, too. Trust me. Yeah. The Vernon blue was well, green. Well, all the stuff out there was green. All the buildings and stuff was green. Painted green. Yeah, we got to fix that, though. <laughs> I think that was some leftover paint from the prison at the time. Or something. Oh no! It was leftover. I sure. Or from the back '70s. Here, but... when it, um, so I did hear back from Tim. He said all of it will be covered with sponsorships. Need to upgrade out all of our out of bed equipment. We have to give each team specific equipment. This fills those gaps. That was what he sent back. So with council's permission, will you please send him a text and tell him that he needs to bid on that workshop? Thank you, Trey. No, no, you thank y'all for letting us use it. Appreciate I appreciate it. it. No, Anybody I appreciate y'all letting us use it. Have anything else for rec? If not, public works report. Uh, the only thing I got, well, my track that we took care of, is give y'all an update on the rec. Um, the pipes in, all the way in, and the new pump will be here Tuesday or Wednesday, and that'll be all brand new. So then the bathroom's going to be open. Yeah, yeah, all that'll be known. So we won't have no more, hopefully no more complaints. Great. Uh, and then we're patching the roads too now. We, we kind of started, but uh, that's it. That's the normal. Thank you. Does anybody else have anything for Jason? Fire chief's report. I hadn't talked to him, so I don't. I hadn't heard about it. I know they went to the meeting. Um, and Ms. Gwynn was there. Yeah, I was there at the meeting. With the fire coordinator. They had a meeting. And I think they got some things straightened out. Right, Cor? <laughs> <Just right. laughs> they got some things straightened <laughs> out. You know, because, well, I just think it was just miscommunication, a little miscommunication and stuff like that. And I think it all just had to be put out on the table and everybody said what, how they felt and stuff. And so it worked out fine, I think. I think they're gonna have another meeting with just the five chiefs 
He plans on having another meeting with the fire coordinator and the fire chief. You know, um, but we need our volunteer fire department, and we don't want to have no records there with you. No, we want to keep in, in good rapport with we the other fire departments them. and the county. So I think they got a lot. It's straightened out now. I think everybody's on the same page, and everybody know what they're supposed to be doing. Good. Does anybody else have anything on the fire chief's report? He's not here, so and Candace, you didn't hear from him. So. Public participation. Yeah, um, <clears throat> we're going to apply for a grant. It's a body worn camera grant, and there's a match. Um, in a nutshell, that's what it is. But we, we uh, part of the grant packet, we have to have a letter of support from each municipality in the county. So I was going to ask if we could get a letter of support for us to apply for the grant um, from Vernon. Is this going to be able to put them on? On everybody on your department if we get the grant get it. yes ma'am if we if we get it and the grant yeah I don't have a problem with it what about all this against them is that what Miss Webb was gonna be here yes ma'am okay so that's number three y'all yes ma'am okay yeah uh, she she had something to come up I think with her husband and, and um health reasons and couldn't make it, I think. And I told her I'd do it. So it, the letter needs to be addressed to you? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Um, I'll just let, if it's okay, I'll let Stacy, I'm certainly not a grant writer, I'll let Stacy work with Miss Candace okay. and, and just tell tell Miss Candace kind of how it needs to be worded or okay. addressed. And the reason I'm asking is because, Michelle, this is on our agenda. Is this something we need to vote on or just? I would expect to approve the letter support. Okay, so it's number three. Okay, thank you. Yes, sir. Is that all we have for public participation? All right, new business. Number one, elect the council president and the vice president. Do I have a motion for council president? I make a motion that we can second. Vice president, council president. Second. Second. Yeah. Discussion? All in favor? Uh, Obviously, I can't vote on that. Is that something for <laughs> me I need to fill out? Um, on that? But you can do it for me. Motion carried. Do I have a motion for a vice president? I make a motion for when to continue. Second. Two. I'm second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. Motion carried. Number three. Do I have a motion to approve um, the Washington County Sheriff's Office? and the sheriff's request for a approval letter for the grant. Make a motion to Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carried. Number four, community center cleaning. Oh, um, sorry, back to me. Um, so from what, how I understand it, um, Stephanie that cleans, she cleans just the bathroom mm -hmm. and not the community center. And um, we go in and check, and if it's not trashed, you know, and it looks fine, then it's a done deal. Because the way it's said is the deposit is kind of just for the keep. I mean, they pay $150 plus tax to rent the building, and then a $50 plus tax for the key deposit. Um, and they're supposed to clean it up. But um, I don't know that anybody mops it when they're done, but the um, a few people have said, you know, when they go in, like into the kitchen or or whatever, that, you know, maybe once a month or something, but I don't know that. I know, Stephanie is a very kind and sweet person and will do whatever y'all tell her, but I don't know since she has not done it in 
her job duties this whole time if you could ask her to do that for the exact same amount of money because that's a big a big building i could see her doing the kitchen part but i don't know what that that's a big room there you're talking about mom. yeah what you just have her go in and sweep and mop the kitchen the, the kitchen, kitchen area well, and, that, keep that clean. and if the well what i was thinking was if we give her a little bit more money, ask her if she do all of it on a monthly basis, just yeah. once a month. If it needs to be. If it needs it, because, I mean, even when it's sitting there, if nobody's using it, dust is going to settle. We don't know if the last people actually spilled something and, and mopped it up or not. And so, we well, do need to give her more money. We're not going to. Yeah, because I'm, when, the other night when they had, when those people came in, a lot of them were from out of state, Louisiana and stuff, and the place was dirty and they were not happy. It was a little embarrassing, but I, I, I agree with you that she shouldn't be tasked to do something that we're not gonna give her. Right, to. and just for reference though, just so y'all know, when I showed it to her, nobody had rented it. She rented it in exactly the condition it was in. It, you can't just walk in and see it unless it's all the lights are on. You can't tell that it needs to be mopped in the kitchen, you know? She's got a, she, well, I know she don't have a contract. She's got duties of it, at least. Does she got a duty? I have well, never seen one. Maybe we need to sit down and workshop and y'all think what y'all want her to take care of and just come up with, and come up with another problem. Yeah. I have no problem paying her. Did we ever get my bucket? She's got a, she's got a room that's locked. But I've not ever, I haven't been in the room. Because yeah, I know yeah, when, I got when, to it. Well, yeah, but when, when people were there, I've been there. And you said, Mark, there's nothing to mop with. There, there I is don't now. know how, how they supposed to get the equipment out to mop with. Because I, even when Lonnie is there, you know, I'm there every time yeah. he's there. There's no mop bucket or nothing. Mark, yeah. That's all we can So it's in her track. equipment room and the key will open her equipment room. But... You know, I don't know what's in the mop bucket's in there or not. Because then you said the church when it got there. Right. That that's what this lady said. She went home and got a mop and everything. Right. Maybe we need to look into buying a, a <laughs> sweeper and a mop and a mop bucket just for the Do we have a buffer, Chase? I don't. Do you think school would loan us a buffer? I'd go in there and clean that. Because floor. I know we when Lonnie is there we clean that kitchen and stuff, but we there's no mop. Yeah, to mop it. There's no mop in the inner market. So Candace looking to get those. I'll do that and just we'll store it in the kitchen where it's easily accessible. Accessible. Yeah. Yeah. And put it on the wall. But you know that little room back there that's half? You know, there's a room that goes out that back door. Yes, it's right, right there. there. Put it on the workshop okay. for us to discuss the duties and raising her pay. And also, um, nothing to do with that but Trey are you going to ask them tonight because we need to add it to number six about any about I ain't looked at it yet I'm okay. looking at it back home okay okay number five do I have a motion to approve the changing in the wording that Candace was talking about on the loan okay. so they will accept it we need it work. pretty much to say what this piece of paper says well, you changed that already. <laughs> yeah. I'll make a motion. Right. Second. Hey, wait, say exactly like that. No. Is that right there? Is that right there? Did y'all approve and read that whole thing? Yes, make a motion to that. The minute should indicate that an unsecured loan for purpose of the tractor and equipment purchases in the amount of $54,000 for first federal bank was discussed and approved. Also, don't forget that we have and the minutes who can sign the loan document on behalf of the city. And you've made a motion to that effect, and I'm calling for a second. Second. Discussion? All in favor? What? You need to name who it's going to be. Name who it's going to be. What, the signer? The signer. The scary guy here, Betty. I made a motion that uh, we approve with. Uh, our president to sign. All in favor? Aye. Motion carried. I have a question. Until 
feels like time has, and I know what it was in the past um, when our previous mayor stepped down, it's the president's responsibility to also be mayor pro ten. In the case of Mr. Gary, is that, I mean, we've got grant stuff and a lot of stuff that he normally signs. Is, is that the case as of now until he returns, and am I able to sign as? As best I can tell, the charter doesn't provide for this kind of situation, and the state law doesn't either. So, as best I can tell, yes. Okay, so if I have to sign anything, I'm going to sign president of council slash mayor pro tem. And if anybody has any questions, it's all it'll be obviously proven. You know what's going on. Right. He's, he's incapacitated for certain circumstances, um, like even getting him sworn in, he's incapacitated, so he's unable to serve. I just want to clarify so that nothing came back later. Right. He has been doing stuff on his own, right? He can't sign stuff. Excuse me. He's been doing stuff on his own. I'm not sure. No, sure. The only contact we all decided, or I decided, and I'm assuming everybody else did, that I would not be reaching out to his phone or anything because his wife was trying to handle that. So the information we've been getting, we've been getting his candidates. I do speak to him a few, a few times a week, and he, can, he is improving, but it's just the signature stuff. There's really no way for me to get it to him yeah. so that they can print it, scan it, sign it, because they are in the yeah. hospital. Like they wouldn't even allow, he was up for getting sworn in, but the hospital ICU wouldn't allow the notary to go in there to do it. Does anybody else have anything? On the state, uh, let y'all know, I ain't forgot about the trees. Charles, Charles had a once in a lifetime experience of planting some trees somewhere last week and the frost killed. First time ever in the ground, it killed the root system. So he's holding the trees for the city until this episode, about this week sometime. Well, it's still looks better out there than it did, so. <laughs> you're not dead. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Hi. Okay. Yes. Oh, Jack just sent me the report. Um, so we just got the new tires for the brush truck, the city's brush truck. They're on the truck back at the firehouse. We're having a big train. We're holding tomorrow night. Um, Chipley's coming. Ebro's coming. So we're doing a group um, multi-company train tomorrow evening. That's great. So y'all went with the least amount on the tire. We were able to work with the tire company and they were able to help us out a bit. Good. So they gave us government price on them. Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Um, thank you very much. Okay. Do I have a motion to adjourn? No, we have no. Since we have the county commission and our sheriff who is here, we're looking for donations for our annual Easter egg hunt, which is. <laughs> <laughs> I told you so. You already sent me some of the mail. I did. I got six or seven. I got mine in the mail today. All right. Yeah. yeah. Looking yeah. for some donations for our sheriff department. Yeah. Yeah. And for, for yeah. our. Yeah, for if y'all have a flyer, is there a flyer or something? Be known with BMCC. Send me some. Send me some. Yes. Yes. Hey, I would like to thank him, Dr. He is slowing down the spring breakers. I was gonna say, I like that sound. Yeah, so they <laughs> lock them up. They lock them up. So well, like hey, Saturday, oh, it's really happy. Look, a I'm sitting right there looking at my window at them, and they are on it. Yeah, it's really good. Saturday, they pulled up in the church. Yeah, the church. The state trooper pulled well, up in the churchyard on so Sunday. Well, yeah. Hey, you just keep telling them to keep up the good work. That's right. right. Two more weeks, they'll have broke. Yeah. On some nights, they got. Three stacked up. It'll yeah. be two county law and state trip. Yeah. They're working together. They're they working. They be tearing them up. They be tearing them up. But they need to slow down. Yeah, they Because they are just going crazy. Yes, ma'am. They are. You know, and I look out and I say, oh, well, they got another one. You <laughs> 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 should, should have plenty of money for that. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> I wish they'd let me keep it. <laughs> I just realized something, and Mr. May is here, and he had. He didn't say anything during public participation, but weren't we supposed to have something on the agenda about the sign that he requested at the last meeting? Yeah, well, we were looking into the to the speed limit of it, and I haven't yet. Okay. So it's on me, Mr. May. Well, and the speed limit aside, did 
we discussed that we could put a uh, children at place on there? Or yeah, that I was going to get with Jason about. Okay. I'm good. I got them now. Yeah. Yeah. Where, by, by I him. went down there and looked. I yeah. just hadn't made any part of them now. Okay. But, yeah. I mean, we are able to put up a children at place on now. We don't have to. That shouldn't be an issue. I got those. So okay. Yeah. So, Mr. May. Yeah, we're going to get your children at play sign up and she's still working on the speed limit. Well, I could ask Mr. Cruz while he's here. Um, yeah, because if it's not posted a speed limit, what is the speed limit? It's, it's 30. Uh, the state handbook says And that's fine for us to just put up a 30 mile an hour sign? He's requesting a 25 mile an hour sign. Yeah. Oh, so how do we... Is, is it a state road or in town? Or if it's a state road... No, it's the old, it's the old, uh, it's the old uh, part of uh, it's still, Sheriff it's still, it's the road that it's, Dees is on. It's the road Dees is on. It's still really considered state highway uh, by my stuff, but it's a... Uh, yeah, they have not, they, they have not turned that over to the yeah. city and still say, I'm Yeah, right. I think you might better call, uh, do, we, do they do that when we done Ruby Lane? See, uh, I did, <laughs> I did. When I first got here, I, I talked to DOT because they still had the 79 sign on my side, not on the new Realigned 277. So they came came out there and took that down. Now the Chipley 16 miles is still up there next to the, next to the house. It's like, I guess like a hit area in there. And they said, they said it would not, the signage would not be complete until 79 was completely completed. Or 277, which you know, no. <laughs> um, I've got to call DOT tomorrow anyway. I did not know that we didn't own the city square. So um, I have to contact them tomorrow anyway because the garden club needed the permit for the gazebo and they thought that they had that whipped and everything was good and they went to get it today and well, I couldn't find a parcel number because it's not showing anything. And so I messaged Michelle and she said, no, DOT owns the square. Really? I mean, that's what the public records show. I, I wasn't aware of that. So it, it was taken as a part of the... Well, you know, the when they bought them out, the CD out, that's what they did. Well, it would have only been a little piece there because that service station was, you know, the way they cut that out, they cut it out and put it there. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay.